Hello, my name is Derek O'Connor. I'm the artist of this painting, which is called Melt. It's a painting about landscape, but in a very general way. Landscape painting comes in many different pictorial forms. My interest has been from abstract expressionism. The actual format of the canvas is a landscape format. I was inspired by a series of photographs and film that I saw which was talking about global warming and the impact on the Antarctic ice. What caught my attention was the refraction of Arctic light through the ice and in the reflection into the water. I decided to use expressive marks and paint expressively as I felt that was more of a general way of encompassing the idea of landscape. I decided to use these fan marks that go like this and I used a spatula, not a brush. And as you can see, there are various transparencies that appear which make the red come through, uh, the blue and the white. White was primarily used because, well, obviously the Antarctic ice is white and the ocean is blue predominantly and then it gave a good source of reflection. I placed these colours on a red background to advance the red and make the blue and the white recede. I also painted this painting in a very intuitive kind of manner. So for instance, if I didn't like this mark here, or if I took a drag down like this or going like this, the way that I put the mark on, I could take the mark off and then refill it. And in this point, you had a, a point of application and a point of erasure, which I felt was suitable or accompany the idea of a landscape in our present day lives, whether domestically or in a universal sort of sense, given that we add to and we subtract from the landscape. And I thought that the idea of Antarctic ice melting was a very good and immediate example of that very uh, concept or that very idea of application and erasure. In 2011, the National Gallery of Australia purchased this painting. I think it's within every artist's career that they hope for such a purchase. I'm very, very pleased that the Australian public will be able to come and view this painting and make up their own mind and hopefully enjoy the painting.